Welcome back to prescri prescription medication Ozempic, a brand name for the generic semaglutide, was sold as a way to keep your type 2 diabetes in check. But it's also found a second use now as a popular way to try and keep the pounds off. Now, a naturally occurring chemical catching on as an alternative, but can you believe the hype? Nikki Zizaza breaks down the big claims and talks to a doctor about if the drug might be worth a look. This is the weight loss supplement having its viral moment. Hey guys, okay, I'm so excited. This is officially my one week berberine update. If you have been on social media lately, you've probably seen posts about berberine. And I was like, what's berberine? And she was like, I don't know, it's a, it's a supplement. And I was like, well, I'll look it up. I hate to be the one to say this, but berberine really is nature's Olympic. Now wait, before you start yelling at me in the comments, I know. Berberine is a yellow colored natural chemical found in a wide variety of some plants and sold as a supplement. I watched it over a period of time and I'm like, okay, this is actually working for people. A growing list of influencers posting their progress, even showing before and after pictures to update their followers on their journey. And in total, I'm right around seven pounds lost. Like TikTok influencer Savannah Crosby. I'm on my 11th week now, so I've been I've been on it for a couple more than a couple weeks. I'm going on three months now. While it may be new to many, Dr. Maria Kravchenko with Ascension St. Agnes says it's been around for centuries. So, can berberine help you lose weight? Maybe. Berberine has been shown on average to induce maybe a five pound weight loss, if that. Arguing there is no merit in those Ozempic comparisons. Real Ozempic, um, average weight loss I typically see in the clinic is somewhere in the realm of 15 to 20 pounds, sometimes even more. Crosby says she knows it's not nature's Ozempic, it's a dietary supplement she uses to reduce inflammation and treat many other conditions. It's not as strong and it's not as potent as what Ozempic can do, but it's definitely a less expensive alternative that will give you some of the same benefits that you would get from Ozempic. What is the one thing they need to know is at risk by taking it? And it's like my biggest concern is are you getting what you're actually paying for? Dr. Kravchenko says research into berberine is limited but ongoing. A lot of these weight loss supplements are actually spiked with things like amphetamines and you know full on you know potent appetite suppressants. So it's like, yes, those supplements might work, but probably not in the way that you're hoping. Ultimately, she has this to say about the new weight loss fad getting thrown around. The research has consistently shown that the best way to lose weight is a slow and steady weight loss. These fad diets that cause quick and rapid weight loss, what they don't tell you is that you know, one or two months later, that weight's gonna bounce right back and possibly even more than what you started. It's a fascinating, fascinating story. Yeah, slow and steady wins the race, though, you know, to make sure you keep your health up to par. And yeah, you know got to keep doing. that in mind.